Since this year is the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise, I thought I'd go back and review a game that came out nearly 20 years ago. So this is my review of the 2002 Resident Evil game that came out back on the GameCube back then. This GameCube exclusive game developed by Capcom, it obviously is a remake, like I mentioned before, of the original 1996 game. And in it, you either take the role of Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine, and you go to the mansion to investigate some murders. But both Chris and Jill and the whole Alpha team comes across a horror they possibly couldn't have imagined. You know, when I had played this game back in the late 2000s, I remember how scared I was, especially considering all the new enemy types. There was only two. There was Lisa Trevor and obviously the Crimson Heads. Man, I tell you, Crimson Heads are, without question, one of the most scariest enemies in a Resident Evil game. I mean, if you didn't probably dispose of the zombie bodies, then they'll come back faster and stronger. I remember how unprepared I was for when they showed up. But nonetheless, what I think about this game, I think it's pretty good for what it is. And I've seen gameplay footage from the original game, and it's very cheesy by today's standards. I think I also want to point out that the graphics for this game look amazing, even nearly 20 years later. Like, this was on the GameCube, people. And the GameCube was the less powerful system out of the Xbox and PS2 back then. Yeah, there are jump scares in this game. It's an interesting adventure for Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. And this feeling actually has multiple endings, depending upon your choices throughout the game. I always admire video games that did that, get a few choices on what ending you wanted. Nonetheless though, do I think this is the best game in the series? Not really, it has a couple of issues such as its short length, and obviously not being a original new game, it just, it's a remake, so you know how remakes goes. They can either be good or they can be quite disappointing. This falls in a good category. Like, if you know the original game, then there's few new things here. It's just a new paint of polish. But it's done very nicely. Now, honestly, because this video game is very old, it has old controls. Like, you know, the tank controls. And some of the voice acting is not great. But it's certainly a whole lot better compared to the 96 game. And what, what I remember about this game playing all those years ago is that just being afraid of what was around the next corner. This is not a 100% remake because there are new features that I mentioned before in this game. It makes an overall experience, but some of the classic, you know, enemies that you can find in that game is in this one, you know, the Hunters, Yarn, Plank 42, Tyrant, you know, the Dogs. And an uh, interesting fact I wanted to point out about the Crimson Heads, this was their only video game appearance. It, it was a step below. In other words, what I mean by that, Crimson Heads will eventually mutate into liquors, as the Lord has said. But what I want to really mention is that this is an interesting game for the time it came out. Going back, you know, people who play it, they probably still enjoy it to this day. It's just, it's not the smoothest gameplay around. I'm giving this video game an 8 out of 10. This is certainly an iconic game. The legacy for this video game speaks for itself. I talked to people over the years about this video game. They highly enjoy it long before the Resident Evil 2 remake or 3 games had happened. And this certainly was a nice treat for those horror fans out there. Because at the time, the GameCube really didn't have a whole lot of profile, you know, horror games because it is Nintendo. And quite frankly, this video game just didn't sell enough copies, hence why this franchise went more action-based in the later entries. But it certainly has its place in one of the most interesting games that came out back in the early 2000s. 
And that's my review of the 2002 GameCube game Resident Evil. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section. And let me know what you think about this video game if you ever have played it. In fact, what is your favorite game from this franchise? Alright, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.